Hey there everyone, how you doing today? Welcome back to my Let's Play series of Bear With Me, where we're about to go into the evidence room and try and find a way to get uh, CBG's it's stuff locked. back. Alright, it's locked, so there's got to be something. Something, something. Hmm. Always it's that something. future billionaire. The future billionaire. Something. Seems like Pete. What's that? That's nothing. Nothing there. Anything in the interrogation room? Nope. Nope. Uh uh. Can I. Can, oh, there it is. Front desk. Any other place I can just walk to? Does this place move? Doesn't look like it. Let's see if Benny can help us out at all. Uh, I better leave those two lovebirds alone. True, true that. Hey, uh, Brian. Brandon. Brandon. I need to get inside the evidence room. Somehow. I have a key, Mr. Bear, but... It's okay, son. He just needs to borrow it real quick. Ted's not a thief. You can say that again. I guess. Here you go, Mr. Bear. Just... It's okay, Chief. You'll get it back. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. You're a lifesaver. I like it. Thank you, Brennan. Brian! His name is Brian! The guy from Drury Lane had a bit too much of the white stuff. <laughs> Flower. Wouldn't know a thing about it. It's the Wouldn't Muffin Man. Dr. Henry's hat. Ah, Dr. Wouldn't Henry. Wouldn't know a thing about it. Aha. Uh -huh. Hope no one crashes into it. Oh, yeah. I hope so, too. Maybe I should keep looking. True that. There's stuff. There's more stuff. Not what stuff. I'm looking for. A buster sword. It really deserves to be repolished. It does. As opposed to the apprentice sword. The master sword. Maybe I should keep looking. What was that? Maybe I should keep looking. Just a banana up there? Man. Okay, there's the utility bell. So many references. I should head back. What you, the? You should head back. But, um... There's a Pokeball there. Whoa. What in the hell? Well, you took your sweet time. I got antsy, so I improvised a bit. What the? You blew a hole in the police station wall. Ah, don't worry. I'll send them an anonymous contribution. Sure. B, listen. Sam and I are meeting later tonight at the old place. I stumbled onto some new information you might find interesting. I'll be there soon. Watch your back, you crazy loon. The... Hmm. At least he's still rich, I guess. Later that night. But... Ugh. I got the utility belt. Boom! Oh, he's breaking himself out, apparently. Let me guess. It took me long enough. Your word, Snoop. Rookie over there seems nervous. First time toppling the oppressive regime, kiddo. Don't worry about me, Mr. Bear. I'm here to help. And what made you switch sides so suddenly? I'm only asking because the other 99% of the police force is as crooked as it gets. I know, Mr. Bear. That's one of the main reasons I'm here with you tonight. It's... It just doesn't feel right anymore. You mean your boss, following the dollar-shaped crumbs that pig is throwing him? Well, there's that, yeah. Also, I really care for Miss Ashworth. I want to help in any way I can. That's what you should say. Okay. Puppy love. So what's going on here? I didn't sign up to be a babysitter, Ted. Sam, did you have time to go through that case I gave you? I glanced over it. It's big, Snoop. King compiled everything to put Mills away for good. I mean, there's photos of the meeting with Red, audio logs, a list of people on the take, everything. So, what's the plan? What Sam, is the plan? You go back to Paper Daily and do your thing. Just make sure this hits the streets by tomorrow morning. Once it's out in public, Mills is going to have the whole city after him. You got it, pal. Brian, son. You go through that list in that briefcase and gather all the cops you can find that are not on it. Get it? Yes, sir, Mr. Bear. Good, good. That <laughs> smiley face. And that leaves us. You, loon. We need to find Amber. 
Last I know, she was at King's Island, but Locke was there with his bulls. I don't know where they took her, but it sure wasn't the precinct. And King? He's gone to the big one B. Just like that? We can start at the mayor's mansion and... No need for that there. I know where they took her. What? What? How could you know that? There's something I need for you to see before we go get her, Ted. What is it? Go to the East Tunnel. The one that leads... To Flint's room. Yeah, I know. Or does it, Ted? What do you mean? Listen to me, Ted. Go and see for yourself, and then come meet me downtown. The girl will be there. How will I know where to find? Oh, god damn it. That's right there. Look for the seagulls. Look at where they flock. B, god damn it, I don't have time for this. I thought you snoops were supposed to keep an open mind. I... I'm your friend, Ted, and I care for the girl. Just, you have to trust me on this one. Go through the tunnel and see where it takes you. After that, come find me at the place where the seagulls flock. If this turns out to be a wild seagull chase, B, we won't get another chance. You understand that? I do, Bear. All right. I trust you. I'll go scout ahead. Assess the threat level. Meet me after you're done. Brian. Sir? Whoa, he got it right. Once you gather those few good men, meet us downtown. If it all goes as planned, we could get rid of that bastard Mills and the Red Man all in the same night. So, we're really doing this, aren't we? Hate's getting to you, buddy. Good thing I can keep a cool head, yeah? Mm. Dead? Goddamn, I need a drink. That was an odd dot to connect. Well, you said cool head, and I thought of... Ice? Yeah. Ice and how it goes well with carrot juice and <laughs> carrot juice on the rocks. Okay, well, Paper City's tunnel. Things are getting heated. It differentiates between the gray one and the slightly less gray one. Because this is a noir thing. CBG said I should go down the tunnel. I know what CBG said. I'm exploring to see if there's anything I need to grab. Before going down CBG. the tunnel. Nothing there. Okay. So I'm guessing clicking on the bush is where I'm supposed to jump. Well, we're going down the tunnel. Hmm. Whoa. It's full of color? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, low lives, are you guys? Can you hear me? Whoa there. What's that? Is that is it expanding? It, the the color of the room. Um What does it What's mean? What's happening to the room? Why is all the stuff disappearing? Because, uh... I need to get out of here. Go. Get out. Oh. Oh, man. So they already moved. That's what's going on. True colors. Some famous painter once said, When I don't have red, I use blue. What does that even mean? Is it just conventions flying out the window? Or is it a form of compromise? Until now, I thought the colors were pretty straightforward. Sun is yellow, sky is blue, and so on. But then again, I was never much of an artist. That's Amber's thing. What happens when all the colors come crashing down on you, like the world's most colorful tidal wave? I have no idea what I just witnessed, the violent, abrupt clashing of what can only be described as different realities. Ones that can't coexist in the same space. True enough. I was never a superstitious man. I valued logic and reason above all things, none of which I found in there. Flint's room is not his room anymore, it's just a storage. I was there before. I saw his room. Didn't I? The mugshot boys. What happened to them? They seemed dead, but somehow still alive. It's like they got caught somewhere in between Paper City and the other reality. Not quite dead, but not alive either. I'm positive whatever the hell that was in there, I would suffer the same fate as those two lowlifes had I decided to stay a bit longer. I can't grasp any of this anymore. I'm missing something, a key component. How is all of this connected? What am I not seeing here? I have to get to Amber. I need to get her away from Mills before he hands her over to Red. 
Hmm. With Locke and PCPD on his side, that won't be an easy task, though. And I have to be prepared for anything. I'm wondering what the allegory is with the find her and tell her police dogs. Out. Maybe she can make sense of all this. He told me to follow the seagulls, and I would find out. Any other day, I'd call him crazy and tell him to go home and rest. What the representations are. I have a bad feeling about the outcome of tonight's events. But I have no choice. I have to keep on. I have to finish this, despite all odds. I'm done following logic, as it didn't bring me anywhere so far. It's time to sacrifice my principles at the altar of greater good. Where'd you get your hat? follow my gut on this one. But you didn't have a hat? In other words, if I don't have red, I'll use blue instead. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. So now we're off to the skyscraper. Took you long enough. I mean... Did you see it? I don't know what I saw, B. How's your investigation going? Regarding the kid. I'm completely lost here, B. I need to get to the doll. Maybe she can make some sense out of all this, but... First things first. What things? We need to get to her, B. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Don't worry, Snoop. Any news from the rest of the breakfast club? No, but I trust they'll pull through on their end. I can't believe you were right about the damn seagulls, you nut. What's the deal with that? I told you, Bear. The gulls are just the means. Mills paid off someone to train them. They're carrying recording devices on them. It's how that pig keeps everything in check. God damn it. Keep your voice down. I mean, it's not surprising. Information is power, Snoop. All of this is insane, B. It's like some cheesy crime drama. Yeah, and you know how those things end for guys like us, right? Huh. <laughs> perish the thought, buddy. And hope we don't perish with it. All right. I'll take care of the mustache club by the entrance. You take care of the one patrolling on the right. Wait, what do you mean, take care of him? You know, take him out. That's an armed policeman. And you're an armed, desperate man. Which one of you do you think has the upper hand? I'm not going to shoot the man, B. Who said anything about shooting? Use your wits, craft something. Isn't that your thing? I, you might be confusing my life with that of MacGyver's. Just think of something. Sure, sure, whatever. Are you ready? I'm always ready. I don't know what I was expecting. I really don't know what I was expecting. Not not that. CBG got him. I really wasn't expecting that. I I don't. They they did the Batman These flash. These walkies might come in handy. It's just the two of us. We should look for an alternative entry point. True that. It's just. Hey, CBG, what you just happened here? There? Make sure there's no more surprises. If you see Red coming for her, try and stall him. Stall him? How? You know, craft something. Oh, I get it. Catch you later. And be careful. <laughs> Use your wits, CBG. Use your wits. It's what they use for the important construction thing. True that. Oh. Bad cop. So I guess we could craft something. Maybe I can use it to bait that idiot over. Th huh. Bait him to what? Seems like a good idea. Something's missing. What's missing? I don't need tongs. Yeah, okay, you don't need tongs for things like this. Maybe there's rope. Maybe I missed something to grab. Nope, that's all the way back to Paper City. I cannot, or will not go all the way back to Paper City. That's an injury lawsuit if I ever saw one. I have to wait till he... Do that. Seems like a good idea. Something's missing. Maybe I can use it to bait that idiot over there. 
I have to wait till he... His back is turned. I have to... Unless it has to be at that exact moment that he turns. I have to wait till he turns his back. He did. Ugh. That's an injury level. Okay. Maybe just... Maybe I can use it to bait that... Yeah, maybe. So that's Maybe I can use it to bait that idiot over there. I'm trying. Maybe I can use it. Over where? Maybe I can use it to bait that idiot over there. I always wanted to drive one of these. But something's missing. I don't need Tom. Maybe I can use... Not sure. No time for it. The sword's all colorful now. Maybe I can use it to bait that idiot. Ah, uh, bear, 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 bear. Can't have a consp... Oh, wait, what's this? I'll just grab... A newspaper? I didn't get to the funnies yet. I didn't get to. I don't care. Maybe I can use it to bait that. Uh, okay. Um, anything else? Maybe using I a don't need it. No time for. Not sure what you're going for here. Not sure what I'm going for either. I'm looking all over the place for anything else that could stand out to be able to lure that idiot cop over there. Uh, what's going on by the harbor? Anything needed? Anything important? Anything special? Anything? Nothing? Okay, goodbye. Tigran's lair is... open. What's going on here? Ha 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 ha. Sanata ana ana sanata ana. Nothing. There is nothing. Back to the skyscraper where this is the only place where things could end up uh, being. You stay here. Make stall him. You know. Oh, catch you later. You know, stall him. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. It's the cracked up, <laughs> cracked up crusader. That's an injury lot. His back is turned. This is Wiley Coyote level of genius. Yeah, I know, right? So let's do this. Do 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 And here we go. Eagle calling dog. The chicken hit the floor. Over. It's what they use. Lovely. They used. The Wilhelm scream. Here goes nothing. Wait, 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 wait. Why are we going there now? Look who decided to show up. It took you long enough. Oh, were you waiting? My apologies. Oh, I see the doll got tangled up in some rope. I'm sure you don't mind if I... Ted, son... Be smart about this. Oh, so you do mind. Come on now, Ted. Don't make me do something we'll both regret. I'm sorry, Sarge, but I came here to get my partner, and you know I won't leave without her. You stop right there, Private. God damn it, Ted, don't force this on me. What happened to you, man? You weren't always this crooked. I'm not judging. I'm just curious. This city happened to me, Ted. 
It took me a while, but eventually I saw it. There is no right and wrong, you see. Nothing is black and white. It's rather gray. All of it. All the time. And that's coming from a cop. And, well, yes. A cop. You see, even a priest has to ask himself, eventually, is anyone really listening? What's your end game here? True. You know Red will probably kill her. What happens to you then, to all of us? I don't think it will come to that. See, besides, in her recent absence, we learned how to, well, exist nonetheless. You're in denial about this. Without her, there's nothing. Besides, don't you care about her? What will happen to her? I have a city to protect there. One girl against a million? Now, I'm not a mathematician, but... You'll never get away with this. Oh, I will. I'll get away with it. You see, I'm the commissioner. You really are a piece of work, you know that. I mean, Mills, I can understand. He has no redeeming qualities whatsoever. But you were a goddamn good man once. Dead, son. Be reasonable about this. No, no, no need for anyone to get hurt. Spare me the public speech, will you? You know he's going to kill her. Anyways, the jig is up. King provided me with enough evidence to put you two clowns away for good. King? Come on, Ted. King's no longer of anyone's concern. Yeah, you took care of that. If you weren't so full of yourself, you would sweep his house a bit better. There were a lot of things you overlooked. Is this... Will this be a problem? He's bluffing, Daniel. It's what he does. Anyways, I'd love to chit-chat some more. But the doll looks uncomfortable, if you don't mind. Ted, stop. Ted, listen to them. Please. Don't worry, doll. It would be low, even for them, to shoot an unarmed man. Or not. Ted! Such, such power. Incredible. You and him, <laughs> you're made from the same cloth, girl. You! How could you let this happen? Please don't kill me. Please. I, I'm, just a, I'm just a humble public servant. Please, girl. I'm not going to. I'm not a... Oh, my God, Ted! Hey there, doll. <laughs> I, uh, I leave you for, like, a minute, and look what happens. Oh, shut up, Ted. You had every right to leave me. I was acting like a child. Well, you are ten. Don't talk. The medics are on the way. No, no, listen, listen, I have to tell you something. You'll tell me later, okay? Listen, I <clears throat> I went to Flint's room. I used the same tunnel as those <laughs> lifes. You went back to the house? Doll, Flint's, Flint's room. It, <laughs> it wasn't there. I mean, it, <clears throat> it was, but it, it disappeared. What do you mean? Ted, you're hurt. <clears throat> listen, listen to me this one time. God damn it. It's not oh, just there. Ted. His room is just a, just a storage. I mean, it turned into a storage before my eyes. It's, it's like he was what never there. I can't explain it, doll. I, I have no idea what the hell is going on here, but I know one, one thing. You have to end this. This is, this is all, all about you. It was always about you. <laughs> you He's moving. You have to face that red bastard doll alone. I'm afraid. You, really? Ted, please. I can't do this without you. It's... it's the only way, Amber. You... Oh, I'm really sorry I left you like that. It was totally, totally out of character. I should have known better. <laughs> oh, shut up, please. It was all my fault. Everything. I shouldn't have eaten that cookie. Nothing's your fault. Life is just unfair sometimes, doll, and... You'll have plenty of time to feel bad about it when you grow up. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. Yeah, don't. Yeah, the weight of the world is not on you. Try to remember that. I'm sure you'll be a great actress one day, or an artist, or whatever you end up doing. You'll be great at anything. <laughs> Ted, please don't leave me. Please don't leave me Get. I can't do this without you. Sure. <clears throat> sure. Sure you can. The talk we had recently made it very clear. I was being hurtful on purpose. I don't believe that. But it's the truth. I got old, Amber. I made a promise. Some time ago, I would keep you safe. A promise? At first, I didn't even like you. <laughs> you were loud and <laughs> would always drag me around by the foot and 
You were too damn cheerful for my taste. <laughs> you were always so grumpy. I honestly thought it would never work. I'm, I'm really glad I had to make that promise because I got to know you. I got to watch you grow up and you became my best friend and the best damn partner I could have asked for. Don't. You gave this old bear a purpose and I'm really grateful for that. And all I have to say in the end is that I'm really proud of your doll and I'm really lucky to have been a part of your life. Ted. Oh. No, no, don't die, Ted. Ted, come back, come back, please. Ted, come back. Is this the end of Ted E. Bear? Mr. Mayor, you're, um, you're under arrest, sir. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Oh, what have I done? So is that it? We don't get to face the red man? Wow, I I see there's more. There's the paper city up there. And I'm gonna look at that in the next episode. I know I'm probably getting close to the end, but I feel like there's a lot more to the story that um, pretty much cover in the next time. So until then, I will see you guys later. Have fun, everyone.